welcome to your practice. Our practice today will be a very slow, calm, grounding practice intended to really take you into your body and into feeling all the sensations in the poses. Please close your eyes to find a comfortable seat, just resting your hands, everything completely soft. Just feel your breath coming in and going out softly. And notice how your body feels. And then bring your palms together in front of your heart. Let's take a moment here to breathe deeply and chant one sound of Om, taking a big breath in. Slowly release your hands come to lie on your back. Keep hugging both knees into your chest and then straighten your left leg all the way to the floor. Circle the foot, your right leg, and then straighten the right leg all the way up into the sky and lace your hands behind your thigh and breathe. Bend the knee, take your arm inside the knee and grab the outside of the foot Coming into a half happy baby pose with your left hand pushing down into your left hip. Breathe into your pelvis and then release over to the left side into a nice comfortable twist. Slowly release and come back. Hug both knees into your chest, and we're gonna switch side. Right leg is long, left knee into your chest. Breathe, straighten the left leg up. Interlace your hands for a moment, and then come into happy baby, or half happy baby on the left leg. So grabbing the outside of the foot, drawing the knee down, and breathing all the way down into your hip, into your pelvis. And slowly release into the twist. So legs roll over to the right and you gently look over your left shoulder. Slowly release and hug both knees into your chest and rock yourself all the way up and come on to all fours. And placing your hands Find your way into downward facing dog. Take a few stretches here, bending the knees, sit bones all the way up high, and then lift your right leg all the way up behind you. Imagine you're reaching the leg out of your hip, so really long stretch. And then open your hip, keep the leg straight. Beautiful. And then release and step your right foot all the way forward. Come onto your fingertips. Inhale, lifting the chest. As you exhale, straighten both legs and fold. Inhale to bend the knee. Exhale to straighten over the leg. Inhaling, bending the knee. Exhale, straighten to fold and stay here. Maybe even walk your hands a little bit further back. Feel the pose, breathe, surrender, soften. <sighs> Very good, bend the front knee, place your hands, and then let's take it into a twist. Right arm floats up into the sky, opening from your shoulder, and release, step back. Downward facing dog, lift your left leg all the way up high. Find the length first. And then open the hip, reach the leg as high as you can. Good, bending the knee, step the left foot forward. Come onto your fingertips. You could also use books or blocks here. 
Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, fold over the left leg as you straighten. Inhale to bend, exhale to fold. Inhale to bend, exhale, straighten and fold. Walk your hands a little bit more back if you can. See if you can draw the left hip back and the inner right thigh. Breathe, feel. <sighs> Beautiful. Release and come into the twist. This time your left arm floats up into the sky, opening the chest. And then release. Step back. Good. And then bending the knees. Rock forward. Bend the knees, come back. Inhale to rock forward. Once again, bending the knees, inhale, rock forward, exhaling, down dog with the knees, bend, and then walk or step your feet forward, and just hang here, holding onto your elbows, knees can be bent, let your belly rest onto your thighs, and then shake out your arms, and very slowly roll yourself all the way up to stand, open your palms, just feel your breath, Inhale, float the arms up, and as you exhale, dive forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, heart lifts, exhale, left foot steps back. Drop your knee, inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, release your hands, and step back. Inhale, come forward into plank, exhale, lower down your knees, chest and chin. Come onto your belly into a nice high cobra. Exhale onto your belly, tuck your toes and push back into downward facing dog. Breathe. Inhale your left leg up, step your left foot forward, drop your right knee, one breath. Inhale, arms float up, exhaling hands to the floor, step your right foot forward. Inhale, your heart lifts, exhale to fold it down. Inhale, take the arms out and up, exhaling hands to the heart. Other side, inhale, float the arms over your head. Exhale, dive forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, your heart lifts, exhale, right foot steps back, drop your knee. Inhale, float the arms out and up, exhale, hands to the floor, step back. Inhale, come forward into push-up position, plank, exhale, lower down, chaturanga, knees, chest, chin. Roll the shoulders up. Exhale, come back into downward facing dog and breathe. You can always have a little bend in the knees or really stretch. Feel the pose, breathe, soften your face. Inhale, your right leg comes up, exhale, right foot forward, left knee down. One breath, inhale, the arms come up, fingers touch, exhaling, hands to the floor, step forward. Inhale, heart lifts, exhale to fold. Inhale, float the arms out and up. Beautiful, exhale, hands to your heart, very good. Inhale, lifting the arms all the way up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, heart lifts, exhale, step your left foot back once again, drop your knee. This time place your hands onto your right knee, push a little bit against the knee, <clears throat> keep lifting the belly, and we'll do a little sore stretch. Right elbow onto your knee, stretch your left arm all the way over to the right. Maybe your right fingertips will touch the floor, otherwise keep the elbow on the knee and breathe into the psoas muscle. Inhale to come up, exhale, step back. Inhale to come forward, exhale, lower down, move through the vinyasa of your choice. We meet in downward dog. Beautiful. All right. Breathe. 
on the leg. Inhale, left foot steps forward. Drop your right knee down. Hands onto the knee. Give a good stretch here. Engage the belly. Protect your lower back. And then we take it into the sore stretch. So start with your right arm over your head, either left elbow on the knee or left fingertips all the way to the floor if that's in your practice today. Breathe deeply. And then release, place your hands and step all the way back, drop your knees. Allow yourself a moment in child's pose. <sighs> Take a few really beautiful, big, deep breaths all the way into the lower back, into the hips, and then come back up when you're ready into downward facing dog. Walk or step your feet forward. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Bend the knees, inhaling chair pose. As you exhale, dive forward. Inhale, your heart lifts and your left foot steps back. Come into a high lunge. Beautiful. Reach through the fingertips and then interlace your hands behind your back. Strong legs, engage your belly. Just lean forward, lift the arms behind your back. So the heart reaches forward, your left heel is reaching back. Try not to rest your belly onto your thigh, but just really use the strength. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, take it into warrior two and then proud warrior and stay here and create length. Inhale, come up. Cartwheel your hands onto the floor. Step back. Vinyasa of your choice. Meeting in our dog. Stay here, breathe, lift your left leg up, step your left foot forward, come into a high lunge again. And then interlace your hands behind your back and once again fold forward. Keep lifting your arms and just breathe, feel the strength in your legs. Press into the feet, inhale, float the arms up, exhale into warrior two, and then proud warrior. Front knee stays above the ankle. <sighs> Release, cartwheel your hands to the floor. Step back, come forward, and lower down, vinyasa of your choice. Good. Step or walk your feet forward. Inhale to lift and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, float the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Exhale to dive forward. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, step your foot back and cartwheel your arms into warrior two. Interlace your hands. This time we go a little bit deeper. Bring your right shoulder inside the right knee and with every breath, let your hip drop a little bit lower. Use your back foot for support. And then we release your hands and come into lizard pose. So lifting the left heel, square your hips, maybe come down onto your elbows or stay on your hands and breathe. Make sure you can soften your face and your shoulders. <sighs> Hold here, keep your neck long. And then release your left knee. And we'll just do a little side stretch. So place the right hand to the inner knee, push a little bit against it, drop your left thigh, breathe. Exhale to release. 
Tuck your toes, swing the right leg all the way up and let's flip your jog into wild thing. So the right foot falls behind, right arm goes over your head. Open your chest, big breath in, exhale, release. Beautiful. And into downward dog. Great. Inhale, your left foot steps forward. Card with your arms into warrior two. Interlace your hands, inhale, lift the chest, exhale to fold. The shoulder might go inside the knee or rest on top of the knee. Let your hip drop with every breath a little bit more. Then release both hands inside your left foot, lift your right heel, find lizard pose, maybe coming onto your elbows. Most important, really feel the pose. Stay present with your breath, with the stretch. And then step back. Lift your left foot up. And let's take it into wild thing on the other side. Beautiful. Exhale to release. Good and then come down onto your belly. Rest your head onto your arms, wiggle your hips, bend the knees and just move your legs a little bit side to side to release your lower back. And then come down or actually up onto your elbows. First onto the right elbow, take your left hand, bend the left knee, grab your foot and very gently reach the heel towards your buttock stretching the front of your left thigh. Be soft here, stay present. And then release, bring your left elbow down, switch legs, take your right foot and gently bring the heel in towards your buttock. And then release. Place your hands, push back, downward facing dog. Stretch out your legs to release. Bend the knees. Look forward and then step forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale to fold forward. Inhale, float the arms all the way up. And exhale, hands to the heart. Step your feet wide, coming into a wide-legged stance. Good, hands onto your waist, lift the shoulders all the way up and back. Exhale to fold forward, take your hands to the floor. If they reach the floor, bending the elbows, fold deeply. A little bend in the knees, inner thighs moving back, and then come all the way back up. Now turn your left toes to the back, right foot steps in, lift your right arm up, left hand behind your back, exhale to fold. Inhale, lift the right arm up, exhale, fold. Inhale, find the length, exhale to fold, and stay here. Both hands come to the either side of your left foot as you lengthen and fold. Maybe walk your hands back a little bit more Parsvottanasana, really beautiful stretch for your hamstring, all in preparation for Hanumanasana. Release, inhale, come all the way back up and just take it to the other side. So if your right foot is forward, your left arm floats up and down, right hand is behind your back, inhale to lift, exhale to fold, flow with the breath, beautiful, find the length. And then stay, move your right hip back, lift the chest for a breath, and fold deeply, drawing your right hip back. <sighs> Slowly release, step back. Inhale to come forward and move through the vinyasa of your choice. We meet in Downward Facing Dog. 
walk your feet forward inhale to lengthen exhale to fold lift the arms out and up standing tall exhaling hands to your heart inhale lift the arms up and now take it into warrior three left leg lifts and reaches back spread your toes flex the foot release your hands to the floor come into standing split a little bend in the right knee left leg all the way up high and then release the left foot behind the right so your left knee is behind the right knee and stretch fold forward release lift the left leg place both feet next to each other come all the way up exhale hands to your heart other side when you're ready inhale float the arms up engage your core warrior three right leg lifts up keep your foot flex reach through the fingertips and then come into standing split right leg lifts all the way up high beautiful and then slowly release your right foot next to your left lift the chest exhale to fold float the arms all the way out and up hands to your heart now we're ready inhale lift the arms up exhale to dive forward inhale heart lifts exhale left foot steps back drop your knee have a block next to you in case you like to use it. We're coming first into the preparation. Ardha Hanumanasana is like a runner stretch. So you sit back, keep your right foot flex. You can also totally stay here if this is enough for you today. If you want to come into the full pose, please slide your foot forward and maybe take a block underneath your thigh for the full pose and lift the arms all the way up. slowly release and then slide the foot very mindfully back so really this is all about taking it slow and then stretching it out and downward facing dog beautiful left leg steps forward drop your right knee down a little moment here and then come into the preparation run a stretch leg is straight stay here or if you want to take it into the full pose you can slowly slide your left foot forward maybe take the block underneath your thigh be really careful here find support if you feel okay here strong legs lift the arms up and just breathe and shine and just be proud of yourself for coming into the pose so beautifully exhale release slide the foot very mindfully back good and then take a moment here in child's pose reach your arms forward and breathe Bring your palms together and behind your skull and allow yourself some really nice, deep, 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 long breath. Slowly release, come back up and we'll come into a nice thigh stretch. So shake out your legs first and then bend your right knee. So coming into half virasana maybe come back onto your elbows some of you may even come all the way to lie on the back see what works for you feel that deep stretch in your right thigh and breathe again feeling the pose and coming back up stretch your right leg forward and switch bend the left knee Slowly walk your hands back, come onto your elbows, release and breathe. Great. 
press into your hands to come back up. Shake out your legs. And then come into Gomukhasana. Right knee on top of your left knee. Feet out to the side. Find length in your spine. As you exhale, fold forward. You may rest your chin onto your knee. I always love to have my hands to the side or even in front to push the floor away. Whatever feels good, breathe into your back. Release. When you're ready, come back up. Switch legs. Now your left knee is on top of your right. Inhale, find the length. Exhale, surrender and fold and breathe. Maybe exhaling through the mouth, it's always nice. <sighs> Beautiful. Slowly come back up, release. Find your sit bones. Let's take one moment here in Navasana. So floating your knees up, your arms up, knees can be bent or legs can be straight. Draw the belly back and breathe. Face is soft. Beautiful. Inhale to come up, release. Hug the knees to your chest. And now you deserve a little moment to rest. So shake out your legs and come to lie on your back. Take the soles of your feet together for Supta Bada Kanasana. Goddess pose, place your right hand onto your belly, your left hand onto your heart, close your eyes and breathe here. <sighs> this is your practice, your time to connect with yourself, to be still, to feel grounded, and knowing that you have everything you need, just need to remember. And slowly bring the knees back together and to your chest. Rock yourself all the way back up to seated. And find downward facing dog. Left leg lifts up into the sky. Now take the left leg underneath the right. Come onto the hip. Now this is a bit tricky. Try to keep your right toes tucked and try to rest forward onto your belly so you feel the stretch in the IT band. Breathe again, surrender. Stay connected to the breath. It's a beautiful stretch. <sighs> Release, come back onto your hands, tucking your right toes, swing the left leg back up, shake it out. Release the left foot, right leg floats up into the sky. Bring the knee towards your chest and then lengthen and slide the right leg underneath the left. Come back onto your elbows. Keep your left toes tucked. Square your hips a little bit and breathe and feel. Great, place your hands, tuck your left toes, swing the right leg all the way back up and then come back onto your seat. Come to lie on your back, hug the knees into your chest and rock a little bit back and forth and then begin to circle your legs. Knees away from each other, switch direction, knees towards each other. And then we'll take it into a beautiful, happy baby pose. So feet parallel to the sky, arms inside the knees. 
Grab the outside of your feet, rock a little bit side to side. Great. Now release. Place your right foot above the left knee. Slide your hands through. Good. And with your right hand, you can push a little bit the right knee away from you. As you draw the left knee closer, you get a beautiful stretch in the outer hip. Breathe into it. Then release and switch left foot above the right knee. For a moment, hug the right knee in and then with your left hand, gently push against the left knee for the hip stretch. Beautiful. Knees to your chest, left leg long, straighten your right leg all the way up into the sky. Interlace your hands behind your back. Either stay here or maybe take with your first two fingers your right big toe to come into Padangustasana on the right leg. Breathe with your left hand, push the hip down. And then bend the knee, release and take the legs over to the left for a nice little twist and stretch. Release, come back to the middle, knees to the chest. Now right leg is long, left knee in. Straighten the left leg up, interlace your hands. Maybe grab the big toe again. For Padangustasana, breathe. And we're ready for the twist. Take the knee over to the right and look over your left shoulder. Beautiful. Come back to the middle. Place your feet underneath your knees. We'll release with some dynamic bridges. Lift the arms and the hips. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, float the arms and hips up. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, release it down. Inhale to float up. Exhale, release. And then hug the knees into your chest and rock yourself all the way back up. Good, beautiful. Stretch your legs out in front of you. <sighs> Feel your sit bones rooting down. Float the arms up. So really keep your back nice and long. As you exhale, fold forward into Paschimottanasana. Seated forward fold. Every exhale, draw the belly back. Create a little more space. And again, just stay present. Feel the pose. Keep breathing. Slowly come back up, slide the soles of your feet together into Tarasana, so feet are like a diamond shape, and then take your arms underneath, fold forward and release completely. A few deep breaths into your back body. Exhale through the mouth. Release to come back up and find a comfortable seat for your meditation. I recommend sitting on a pillow or a block. Close the eyes. Spine is nice and tall. Face is soft. Either turn your palms to face up. Shoulders release. And then just be still here. Really the intention of our practice, especially this grounding practice, is to become comfortable with stillness. To just notice, observe, listen, pause, breathe, whatever is going on inside our body, whatever thoughts are floating by, just 
watch, observe. And you come to a place of just kind and loving acceptance. And then slowly release and from here find your way into Shavasana.
slowly begin to deepen your breathing, move your fingers, move your toes. Stretch your arms over your head for a good long stretch. Bend the knees, hug the knees into your chest and rock a little bit back and forth, side to side. And then come to lie on your right side, just breathing. And then when you feel ready, take your time and use your hand to push yourself all the way back up into a nice comfortable seat. Maybe sit on a block. Take a moment to sit really nice and tall with the eyes closed and just feeling a sense of calm, a sense of grounding, a sense of space. Just breathing. When you're ready, slowly bring your palms together in front of your heart for a moment of gratitude to your practice today taking the time, and then let's close with one chant of Om, inhaling deeply. Thank you for your practice. Namaste. Thank you.